Dingford Creek Trailhead and the road is as bad as it's ever been. This is the big washout, which actually doesn't look too bad. It's better than some of the other places I've been through. Just got to take it slow. And uh, it is definitely bumpy and slow going though. You need very likely full wheel drive, but the road still goes so far. All right, it is now 523. Of course, as soon as I pull up to the trailhead, it starts raining. Classic. Hopefully it'll let up. I am a uh, raincoat, shorts, some waterproof boot socks. We'll see how it goes. Biking to the gate down the road. Legs are already cold. the road well I have uh, run into snow on the road right where the Middle Fork Trail goes so I got the bike stash in the woods and uh, up we go lots of rain oh I guess I should take off this helmet probably makes sense <laughs> the uh, rain let up as I rode then stopped and now it's raining harder and uh, walking in the snow Seth and I camp and here is the sign for Dutch Miller first camp up we go hopefully the snow ends These are the steps the llamas do not take. I made it to camp. I'm in my tent. I'm having a uh, 
chicken quesadilla from Taco Bell. And, uh, hungry. Trying to warm up. And probably fall asleep pretty quick. It's raining, but not too heavy. I'm under a big tree. Um, hopefully it'll stay mostly dry. All right. <coughs> Cold night. <clears throat> Did not sleep well. Didn't sleep really that much. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour at a time. Maybe. Some little road had to chew through the tent last night. Probably to get my food. It rained. And, uh, yeah, a lot of snow. No way really to get across the creek. So I'm just going to hike back down, take some pictures, and then bike back down. Okay, a little bit of sunshine, which is nice. Definitely still very much winter up here. <clears throat> Not sure how many feet above sea level I camped last night, I'll have to look it up, but still melting out. It's gonna be a while. Dutch Miller. Dutch Miller Gap. And the bike. 